guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm continuing a fun series that I just single out one single oil and talk about all things about it and today we're talking about cedarwood. Cedarwood is always um, one of my first recommendations to get after you get your kit. Um, if you're joining with Young Living, you get your starter kit, um, and it comes with a bunch of oils that are like daily use. Some of them are daily use, some of them are just really, really awesome oils, but I wish it came with cedarwood because it's an oil that I use so much. So it's one of the first ones I recommend um, you put on your wish list, because um, that happens after you get your kit, you're like, I need more and more and more. <laughs> so it's just the one, I don't know, probably the number one that I suggest people get after their kit. Um, it's affordable. It can be used for so many things. Um, it's very versatile. It's kind of similar um, to lavender and frankincense where it can be used for so many things. First, I'm going to talk about how we like to use it, some fun DIYs you can use it for. Then I have my two favorite reference books. Um, that I'll share what they have to say about cedarwood. And then I have my, a couple of cedarwoods. I think um, there are a couple of different varieties too, so I'll share the ones that I have and love. So the first thing um, that we like to use it for is for sleep. I like, I like to diffuse it with lavender at night. It just helps put you into that deep sleep, like really good sleep. Just helps your mind um, just kind of calm and center and relax. So we like to use it for sleep support. The next thing is I like to put it in my mermaid hairspray. Uh, so it's basically just in a spray bottle. I put a splash of witch hazel, witch hazel water, and then essential oils of um, cedarwood, lavender, and rosemary. I think those are the only three. Um, and it just helps promote hair growth, shine, health, all the things. So that is another way. And then skin support too. So it's a very versatile beauty um, essential oil. It's also in my skin serums, especially um, I have it in my night serum. And I have a day and night serum just because in my night serum I have lemon, which is photosensitive. So if you put lemon oil straight on your face and go out in the sun, you're gonna have a reaction. So I like to use it at night, so I just put it on my face at night and then I sleep, it soaks in, and then I don't have a problem with photosensitivity. Anyway, cedarwood is in my nighttime um, face serum because one, it's great for skin support and hydration and health and all of that, but it also, when you're putting it on, you just are breathe, smelling it too, so it just helps relax you in that way too. So I love it for hair, skin, um, sleep and then also it's in my lash and brow. I don't currently use a lash serum because I have extensions but I use a brow serum and I put cedarwood and lavender and castor oil and I just kind of roll it or brush it on my eyebrows and it helps with um, promoting hair growth and health and all of that. Um, next on my list is good for emotions kind of like I already talked about it helps really just calm and ground you. Grounding it just helps um, your mind just kind of center and relax. Like it's one of those where if I'm just going from anxious or any type of um, that emotion, I either grab frankincense or cedarwood and I just put some in the drop or in the palm of my hand and just deep breathe and it helps you just come back. Um, from all of your anxious thoughts and all of that. It's also a good compliment, a good note to mix with um, perfume blends. So if you're doing like, I really like lime, patchouli, cedarwood, lavender, that type of blend, you get that little wood note, the floral, the citrus or whatever. I think that's actually the perfect blend. I have it saved in my Instagram highlights, but to make a perfume, you want all of those different notes to kind of balance each other and smell really good. But cedarwood is a good one for that um, and just bringing that woodsy, grounding, warm scent to your perfume blends. And then next on my list, um, it can be used as a bug repellent. So you can use it in your bug sprays. Um, you can diffuse it outside with citronella to help keep the bugs away and then also um, I've been seeing this everywhere, but we've never had a problem with moths, but you can put it on a cotton ball, put it in like a closet or somewhere around your house, wherever you have problem with moths. Um, and I like hope we never get that problem. It sounds terrible, but it's good for repelling moths as well. That is it for my just personal list and the ways that we use it in our home. And now I'll show you the different cedar woods that I have. And let's see, cedar wood Atlantica. Oh no, these are all the same. These are all Cedrus Atlantica. Yeah, they are all the same one. I thought they were different. There are a couple of different varieties of cedarwood. So this is the Young Living one. Um, this is the one that I, it's almost gone. Uh, I think this is $11. I could be wrong. I should look it up for you guys, but 
super, super affordable, and we use it, like I said, so much. The next one is Plant Therapy. This is the same one. Um, this says Kids Safe When Diluted. Cedarwood Atlas can help support healthy respiratory function. Ooh, that's something I didn't even touch on. Um, I wasn't aware of. When diffused or diluted in carry oil and rubbed on the upper chest to promote healthy flake-free scalp, add a few drops of cedarwood to your favorite shampoo. That's a great idea. I like to add rosemary to my shampoo, but that this would be a good one too. Um, and just do a quick smell test. I'm sure they all smell the exact same. Um, yes. It's good. It smells like cedarwood to me, this one. It smells the exact same. Ooh, it might be a little sweeter. This one is like super almost empty, so a lot of air has affected that one, so that has a lot to do with oils too. Mm. Another thing um, that like oils, same exact name oil or variety of the oil can smell different um, in just the way it's harvested, the way it's distilled. Um, like I said, the way, the older the bottle, the age of the bottle, how long it's been exposed to air and light, all of that, so that can affect different oils. So just because an oil might smell a smidge different than like another brand that you're using, there's so many factors that contribute to that, so don't just automatically think, oh, this isn't as good because it smells different. Um, you just wanna make sure that the oils that you're using are from a good, reputable brand that does rigorous testing um, and sustainable and just like responsible harvesting and farming and all of that. Um, and the brands that we love, I talk about all the time, so you probably already know, but Young Living, um, it's the brand I've used the longest, that's how I got started. We also love Rocky Mountain Essential Oils, which that is this one, did I already share? No, I don't think I showed you this one. This is the Rocky Mountain, uh, bottle. Does this say anything different? Any other tips? No. Just says to diffuse five to ten drops, it's for household, and dilute on topical. Um, but what was I saying? Young Living, Rocky Mountain, we do like plant therapy, um, and then we also like Simply Earth, which is more of like a subscription box, but you can also buy their single oils too. Um, just wanted to, full transparency, just wanted to share and drop my oils, um, that we do use a couple of different brands, and it's fine if you want to do that. I feel like some people are so against that. Um, it's just funny, different people, different opinions, different perspectives, things like that, but I'm just honestly or sharing my honest what we do and how we use oils. Okay, now these are my two favorite um, little guidebooks. This one is the, I almost said plant therapy. This is the Life Science Pocket Guide. This is discontinued. If you can get your hands on this, like on eBay, it's way worth it. Um, we use this a ton, but like I said, they stopped making them for some reason. And then this one is by um, Aroma Media, but I got it on Your Oil Tools, and that's a website we like to get different bottles. They have all accessories that you could possibly need for essential oils and they have a lot of um, education books like this so I'm gonna look up cedarwood in both of these and maybe we can get some more fun facts on the oils <laughs> okay magnolia jasmine cedarwood so this book I like because look how much it tells you about each oil it's full of information um, oh and this is actually not the same cedarwood it's juniperus virgin it's a different um, it is a different cedarwood, but I'll read it e or anyway, and you can just see there, that's the version of cedarwood. What is the word that I'm trying to think of? The different variety? I don't know, of cedarwood. So it has a high level of sesquiterpenes, which have been shown to be able to pass the blood brain barrier and have a re relaxing effect on the mood. So as I said before, just very relaxing, very calming, grounding. Um, dilute for sensitive skin. It's nutty, woody, sweet. The main constituents, which I've been saying that word wrong for a very long time, so I apologize. I have said, con oh no, I can't say it wrong. Um, constituents, but it's constituents, whatever, tomato, tomato. Um, our A, cedrine, cedrol, and thujosjopsine can't pronounce as well, sorry. Um, but those are the main constituents in this cedarwood here, the Juniperus virginiana. <laughs> um, this says medical uses are attachment disorder, eczema, cyst, hyperactivity, insomnia, post-traumatic stress disorder, seizures, sleepless, um, ADD, ADHD, skin issues, psoriasis, cough, um, that's the respiratory support that I read from that plant therapy bottle. That's cool. Stroke, acne, sinus issues, scalp issues, and gum support. Oh, 
no, never mind. Um, and then everyday uses for eczema, apply a few drops over the skin issue, insomnia, rub one to two drops on back of neck and bottom of feet, um, PTSD and emotional support after a difficult day, diffuse three to four drops. And then diffuse cedarwood when feeling stuck. It promotes feelings of being free and organized and kind of just brings you back to reality. Um, in my opinion, <laughs> not from the book. Um, oil substitution, so that's a part I love about this book. So you do, if you don't have cedarwood, you can substitute it with ar arborvitae. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a tree oil. Um, patchouli or vetiver, which I am dying to try vetiver. I haven't tried it yet. Surprise, surprise, I know. Um, so that is on my list to get next. Um, then from this book, I should have this one says cedarwood has been used in medicines. Um, the Egypt Egyptians used it for embalming the dead. Fun fact of the day. Um, it was used as both a traditional medicine and incense in China. Medical properties from this book combats hair loss, uh, alopecia irradiata, arata, arata. Okay, so that's a good, another good reason to have it in your hair, like hair treatment spray or to add it to your shampoo and hair products in the shower. It's antibacterial, lymphatic stimulant, um, uses for hair loss, ADHD, skin problems, so things we've already mentioned. That's really cool. Um, the fragrant influence, it stimulates the limbic region of the brain, the essential oils and the limbic center a region of your brain that's just one of the main i could do a whole video on that let me know if you want to in the comments um so it stimulates the pineal gland which releases melatonin that's awesome um terry friedman md found in clinical tests that this oil may treat add and adhd amazing um and in children and then it is recognized for its calming purifying properties diffuse up to one hour three times a day or take as a dietary supplement if you're using the Vitality from Young Living. Um, and then the plant origin, and this is the, this life science is a Young Living um, publishing. This book is Young Living based. So um, the plant origins, Morocco, USA, Cedrus alanica is the species most closely related to the biblical cedars of Lebanon. Um, it's steam distilled from the bark um, of the plant and then the constitu constituents of this which the constituents are just the components the the parts of the oil um, all the different yeah parts of the oil and there are a lot of different constituents and the oil all the oils have different ones and that's how they work differently and work for different things and that's just part of the science and how cool essential oils are but anyways these constituents are alpha hematulane i should not even try to be pronouncing these um Mm, it is so good. A tiny bit sweet, but mostly woodsy and warm. It is so good. And honestly, when I first got cedarwood, I was very excited because my friend was like, you have to get this after your kit. It's one of the oils that she recommended too and used a lot, but it smelled directly from the bottle. It used to smell like cat pee to me, but now it just smells good. Um, it's just one of those things where you're so used to uh, artificial and synthetic fragrance that when you come to oils and stop using the other, fragrance you it's an adjustment um because it is a lot different benefits are endless and it's so worth it okay but i think that is it i learned the respiratory um properties and support from cedarwood i didn't know about that before so that's cool i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys liked this video let me know in the comments what oil you want me to do this type of video this series on next it's fun i learned stuff i hope you guys are learning um and i just get to share some of my favorite oils too and all of the cool different ways that these oils can be used oh lastly I was gonna share um, so fume just came out with these invigorate cores they're so good for opening up your airways for just um, invigorating you getting you ready for workouts um, helping your endurance and your airway like I said but this also has cedarwood so I wanted to share that because cedarwood just helps you kind of focus and helps with your endurance and just kind of mentally helps you along with like eucalyptus all of the different oils this is full of different ones I did a reel, a couple of reels on Instagram with this to share all of the different oils, but this is, might be one of my top three cores that they've come out with. So you guys have to check out Invigorate too. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. I will link these, our favorite brands, those books that I referenced from, I'll link those in the description. Like I said, the one is discontinued, but you can find it on eBay, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.